Are you looking to add additional storage to your Windows 11 PC? Well, today we're gonna to be showing you how to install and set up a second NVMe M.2 drive in your Windows 11 PC. We're gonna be using this Fixero P7000 Pro two terabyte drive. This drive gets up to 7,000 megabytes per second read speed, so it's nice and quick. We'll show you how to physically install it in your PC. Then we'll jump over to Windows 11 and show you how to get it all set up. So it's really quite simple to do. If you are interested in this Fixero NVMe drive or any of the components I'm using in this Build. They're all linked below in the description. Let's go ahead and dive right into it. So we need to figure out where we're going to be installing this second NVMe drive. I've already got my original one down here under this heat sink right here, right next to my CPU. That's the one that has windows on it, but we're installing a second one so we can get more storage. Now on this motherboard, I do have three slots. I have a slower one right here without a heat sink. And then under this heat sink right here, there's two more PCIe 4.0 NVMe slots. That's where we're gonna be installing it today. So under this heat sink. Now this NVMe drive did come with a heat sink as well. We're not gonna be using that today, but if you do need one, it was included in the package. So let's go ahead and remove this cover down here and get this all ready. So there's two Phillips head screws, one on each side, one over here and another one over here. And that should loosen off the heat sink so we can pull it out. So I'm gonna be picking the first NVMe slot here. Again, there's two of them under the heat sink and this accommodates multiple sizes. So 2242, 2260, or an 80 millimeter NVMe drive. And the 80 millimeter has the quick release on it. Now the other two don't have standoffs. They did come in the box so for the motherboard. So if you do need them, check your motherboard box. If you don't have any of those, I'll link them below in the description. But we'll go ahead and line this up. So I don't need to add the standoffs here because it's already got the quick release. Just make sure that the quick release, the little arm on it is pointed towards the back. Then we'll grab our NVMe drive here. And again, line up that notch on the NVMe drive with the notch on the connectors. And the back is kind of raised up a little bit. And we'll just push it in. I'll show you here. You can see the back is raised up. It's kind of like a diving board. And then we can go ahead and push that down. So we'll just push it down, make sure it clears the back part here where the quick release is. And then we can rotate that little arm on the quick release and it should hold the NVMe drive in place. Now this is an important step on the back of your heat sink here. You can see there's some film. We want to make sure that we're removing that from the correct NVMe drive. So if it's going in this way, we want to remove the film from this side. So it's just the blue portion of it. That just pulls off like that, leaving us with our thermal pad. And then we'll go ahead and line up that heat sink. And we'll just get them threaded in there so it doesn't fall off. It's in the correct spot and then we'll just go ahead and tighten that down. Just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and start up my computer here and we'll get this NVMe drive up and running and activated. All right, so I've got my PC all up and running here and let's go ahead and set up this drive. So if we head down to our start menu here at the bottom, we'll go ahead and right click on it. Not left click, but right click. And you should see disk management here. You can go ahead and left click on disk management. And in here, it realizes there's a new disk in my system. It says initialize disk. We can go ahead and go on from here. If this doesn't pop up for you, I'll just hit cancel here and extend this out a little bit. You can see I've got two drives here, my C drive here, which has windows on it. And then the second drive here, the Fix Zero one we just installed, but it's unallocated and not initialized. So we want to find the drive that we're installing. And over here off to the left, so not here under the black bar, but off to the left, we're gonna right click in this area. And you can see it says initialize disk here. We can go ahead and select that. And this will bring us back to where we started. So what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be selecting to initialize the disk. So I'm gonna select GPT. That's the GUID partition table. That's what we're gonna be doing for this. We'll just go ahead and hit okay. And you can see it went over to basic here. It switched to basic, but it's still unallocated. So we do still need to continue with the setup. So now in the open area under the black line off to the right here, we're gonna right click again. 
and there's an option that says new simple volume. You can go ahead and left click on that and it's going to open up the new simple volume wizard. Hit next and it's going to show us the size of the drive. So if we want to get the maximum amount of space, just make sure that matches the one here at the top. Again, we'll go ahead and hit next. We can assign a letter to the drive. So I like to reserve D drive for things like thumb drives, that sort of thing. So we'll pick whichever letter we like. I'm gonna go ahead and pick J for this one. You can pick whichever one you want. Again, we'll go ahead and hit next. There are some other options here. I'll let you look into that on your own if you're wanting some more advanced options. Hit next. And in here, there's an option, do not format this volume. So if you've got data on here formatting, the drive will wipe everything out. So do be careful, don't format the drive if you've got anything important on there. I'm gonna be formatting this one, it's brand new. So we're gonna select the NTFS file type. We can leave the next one on default. And then here under volume label, it says new volume. We can name our drive. So I'm gonna name this one, I'll call it fix zero P7000. And maybe I'll put two TB, just like that. And then make sure perform a quick format is selected. And again, this will wipe out everything on the drive. So don't do this if you have important information on the drive. We'll go ahead and hit next. And then we can go ahead and hit finish. And it's gonna format it and set up that drive right here. You can see it's the J drive now. So now if I open up my file explorer and go down to this PC, we can see we've got our Fixero drive as well as our C drive. So we can just copy files onto here, install programs, that sort of thing. And if we actually look at the properties here, I'll just right click on it and go to properties. We can see we've got our two terabytes of space and it's all up and running. And really it's that easy to install and set up a second drive here in Windows 11. So if this quick tutorial helped you get all set up with additional storage in your PC, if it did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, take care.